Hello guys, how are you today? Hi. How are you? Anayansi, hello, how are you today? Hello. Claudia, hello, how are you? Hello, I am good. Me escuchan? I am good, and you? Mm -hmm. Permítame que yo creo que yo tengo problemita ahorita. Okay. Hello. Me escuchan. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Yes. Ay, creo que no, no me funcionó ahora el, el audio. Hello, teacher. Ay. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Fine, teacher. Mejor así o no me funcionó el audífono. Excellent. Nice to see you. How was your weekend, Carlita? Fine. Uh, rest, uh, I rest my all day. You rested? Yes. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Ah, delicious, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, because yes. my son eh, is on vacation. Mm -hmm. Entonces descansé. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. Ana Yancy, how are you today? Ando buscando. Ok. Problemas técnicos, pero ya está resuelto, ¿ok? Guys, remember, eh, ¿han tenido algún problema con la plataforma? Ahí estuve viendo que estuvieron comentando en el chat. Antes que nada, con Carla ya, ya resolvimos ahí un ejercicio. ¿Alguien más ha tenido algún inconveniente? No, Carla, Claudia, Anayansi, Stephanie, ¿han tenido no, 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 Ok. Vamos, let's start. Ok, remember. Question with how. We have how good, how well, how long, and how often. Uh -huh. The meaning of how good it. Qué bueno, pero en forma de pregunta, ¿ok? Remember, good is an adjective. ¿Y qué modifican los adjetivos? ¿Al verbo? No. Necesito. Los adjetivos modifican, ya sea nombre o si no modifican... Otro adjetivo, que son los determinantes, ¿ok? Pero el, el, el adjetivo modifica el nombre. No encuentro, no encuentro, no encuentro dónde, no verme tan gasparín. Ok. 
Let's see. What about how well? How well means que tan bien. Que es well? Es un? ¿Quién sabe qué es well? Adjective. Adjective. It's an adverb, okay? Well is an adjective. Adjective adverb, sorry. So we have a example here. How good are you at tennis? Another question. Esto ya, lo, ya estaba en la plataforma. Hay unos ejemplos. How good are you at mathematics? How good are you at math? Uh -huh. What else? I had a How problem you... in this part on the platform. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, tell because me. I only wrote how good, how well, but I needed to use are you. And it was very hard for me, but when I uh, saw in the WhatsApp, mm -hmm. I could do it. <laughs> yes, I know. The problem is that remember, uh, we have two difference. Eh, the use of verb to be and simple present. Ese es el problema, ¿ok? Remember. Les voy a dar un repasito, ¿ok? Remember. Verb to be means cero o estar. estar. Entonces aquí dice How good are you at tennis? ¿Qué tan bueno eres tú? Entonces es de ser. Si me, si me entiende, es por eso que se usa el verbo to be acá. ¿Y cuál es el simple present? Es uh, eh, when you uh -huh. do habit or hobby or uh -huh. routine. Or daily routine, ajá. Entonces es cuestión de lógica, ¿ok? Si me está preguntando de ser, ay, entonces el verbo to be. Y el verbo to be, ¿en qué forma se usa con you? Es are. Ajá. ¿You see? Podemos hacer en tercera persona, how good. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Ajá. Tell me. Um... How good is he in football? At football. What football? At soccer, let's say. Que es el que nosotros jugamos. How good is he at soccer? Yes. Lo único que cambia aquí es la forma del verbo to be. To be. Yes. Eso es lo único que va a cambiar. Ok, what about how well? Con esta tuvimos un poquito de problemas en, en la platform. Porque, o sea, porque me estaban poniendo how well is, how well do you type. ¿Se acuerda? Ajá, o sea, yes, y está bien, o sea, está bien, pero... Remember, can is for ability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how well can you type? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué otro podemos hacer con how well? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to class. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. How well? Tell me an example, another example. How well? How well can you feel? Y 
Yes, you can say cómo te sientes, ¿verdad? Pero in English. Sí. Yes. But yes, it could be, but it's more Spanish, okay? It's más español. Let's say how can you another another verb? Pero, a ver, ability means no. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you play basketball? How well can you play basketball? Uh -huh. Because we are talking about ability. Utilizamos can is for ability or possibility. Okay. How well you how well you play basketball? Basketball. basketball. You see? What about how long? How long was the film? How long do you practice? How long do you practice? How exercise? long do you practice exercise? Practice is more for a sport. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. How long was the trip, for example? It was on the phone. Sí. Yes. How long was the trip? Yes, excellent. How long? Uh huh. Another example. How, how long does it take? To go to school. Does she take to get school? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How long does she take to get school? Yes. Excellent. What about how often? Con qué frecuencia? Okay. How often do you visit your parents? Uh huh. How often do you go out? Excellent. To eat dinner. <laughs> yes. Podemos poner to eat dinner. Oh, yes. It's okay. Another. How often? How often do you practice a uh, do you practice uh, exercise? A sport. Yes, yeah, sport. Uh -huh. Si queremos hacer, hablar del ejercicio, también podemos decir how often do you exercise? También. Okay? ¿Alguna pregunta de aquí? Por, quiero ver, me escribieron. Ok, entendido, chicas, <ríe> las que me escribieron. Ok, ¿alguna pregunta de las preguntas con how? ¿Duda? ¿No? No, teacher. No, hablé hoy a, o ahora o calle para siempre porque vamos a un tema y tenemos varias actividades, así que ojalá nos alcance el tiempo, ok. Simple past. Okay. When do we use simple past? Guys? When the, the action is in the past. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when the action is in the past. past. But remember, it's the same that simple present. present. The only different thing is that verb, past. That verb is in? Pass. 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 And the auxiliary for questions? Did. 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 Esa es la diferencia, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿cuál es mi estructura con un affirmative statement? Subject. Subject, yes. Verb. Did. Pass. Verb. Pass. Did. Verb. Did. 
Yes, but it is the affirmative, okay? Okay, very fast. Fast and complement. Verb in past, uh huh. Plus complement. Complement. Aquí en este mismo este. En este mismo les tengo archivo, les tengo una lista de, de verbos para que los lean, los estudien, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, Va. si decimos de que tenemos la estructura. Subject, verb in past plus complement. Ok, let's start. For example. Marta, uh -huh. tell me a verb in past. Went. Okay. Marta went. Si es posible. Marta went. To the supermarket. Yesterday. To the supermarket yesterday. Okay. ¿Qué tal me escuchan? ¿Me escuchan bien? ¿Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes, da igual. Teacher, yo le escucho bien suavecito. Ya le di todo el volumen aquí a mi teléfono. Eso, eso estoy viendo, ¿ha? por eso les estoy preguntando. Sí. Ay, lo tengo al 100. Voy a tratar de gritarle y si, y si le... No sé si solo soy yo, no sé. Quizás no tengo mucho orienter porque al principio no escuchaba nada. Hoy escucho, pero bien lejos. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Y no le funciona salirse y volverse mm. a conectar? Eso hice, por eso que no me veía, ¿no? Porque ya hice eso y, y nada. Híjole. ¿Y no tiene audífonos? Igual con audífonos, no me escucha. No, es que como estoy en el trabajo. Bueno, voy a tratar de hablar un poquito más, más fuerte. ¿Ok? Marta went to the supermarket yesterday. I have my subject, that is Marta. Went is my verb in past. To the supermarket yesterday is my subject. Complement, yes. You see? Another example. Marta ate for fish for dinner. Sorry? Marta ate ah. fish for dinner. Marta, Marta ate fish for dinner. Yes? Another example. We visited our parents last year. We visited our parents. Our parents. Uh -huh. Last year. Qué bárbaro. Ya le va a tocar la, la, la del año. For Christmas. <laughs> Jancy, qué cruel. Ok, yo sé que. Ok. Es example, me. Yes, I know, I know. I'm kidding. We visited our parents last year. Uh -huh. So, remember: subject, verb in past, plus complement. Complement. Uh -huh. This is simple. Past. Yes. O sea, eso no tiene que olvidarse, ¿ok? Si se fija, ¿verdad que esto es parte de la rutina? Yes. Es lo mismo. O sea, simple present, routine, habits and hobbies. Okay. ¿Ok? Para esas tres cosas. Y yo las uso... Para eso, nada más, ¿ok? Another example. ¿Y qué pasa con la tercera persona? La tercera persona acá no agrega S, 
no se le agrega nada. O sea, todos los, todas la, los, las personas en este caso van de la misma forma el verbo. Solamente en simple present yo cambio el verbo, le agrego S o e S al verbo cuando tengo tercera persona. Voy a poner un... Tercera persona, ¿ok? Y si no pasa nada. Another example, let's say, my friends, my friends, Uh -huh. came to my house yesterday. Came, came, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Came to my house yesterday. No, son verbos irregulares. Yes. Exacto. Estos son verbos y irregulares. Ajá, irregulares. ¿Cuáles son los irregulares? Los que cambian. Cambian su forma. Y los regular verbs son aquellos que siguen siendo lo mismo, solo se agrega el que? A, D. A, D, D, or D. Yes. Excellent. Ok. Vamos a hacer uno. Hagamos uno regular. My brother. Worked until. Sorry, después vamos a hacer ese. Ok. My brother played. Yesterday. Play soccer. Yes. Okay. Esos son regular verbs. Solo agregamos e. E D. E Okay. Another example with a regular verb. Uh -huh. She loved me. Uy. She... Okay, we love. She loved me? We love. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> ya no más. <laughs> Parte del pasado, okay? Remember? Regular verbs. Solo agregamos ed. Irregular verbs cambian. ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta hasta ahorita? No. No. Ok. Vamos con las yes, no questions. Did. Este es el auxiliar que vamos a utilizar. Ok. Para preguntas y negación. No. Yes, no question. Ese yes, no question. Para oraciones, el did lo utilizamos en forma negativa, ¿ok? Yes. Que es did not or didn't. didn't. Ajá, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer el mismo ejemplo. Did Marta... Did Marta go to the supermarket yesterday? Did Marta go to the supermarket yesterday? Si se fijan, ay, y, y, y el go de dónde salió? El go es el mismo que el when, solo que aquí ya está en presente. Forma, en base form. ¿Por qué? Base form, porque ya tengo un auxiliar, auxiliar. que me está diciendo que es pasado. Espero que esté escuchando, Ana Yancy. Lo siento si no escucha. Igual este puede ver la clase en YouTube. En, si en un momento no, no puede escucharnos, ¿ok? Thank you. Vamos a ver el otro ejemplo. Did Marta eat fish for dinner? Did Marta eat Fish, fish for dinner. dinner, yes. The other example, we visited, we visited our parents last year. 
Did we? Did you visit? Did we? Yes. Our parents yes. Vamos a decir, podemos decir. Did we, did you, dependiendo, ¿ok? Recuerde que el we es cuando nos incluimos oh. nosotros, ¿ok? Did we visit or parents last yes. year? Yeah. <laughs> Jancy, did yeah. you visit your parents last year? Yes, it's true, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> ok, thank you La otra sería Did my friends come to my house? No? Did my friends come, come to my house? To my house Recuerden igual la otra cosa Aunque esté en tercera persona Solo tenemos un auxiliar en pasado Que es el oh. Sí. O sea, en eso no quiero que se confundan. En pasado solo hay un auxiliar que es did. En presente sí está. Dasen. Do. De. Do. Esas solo son cosas que hay que aprendérselas, ¿sí? Ok. ¿Y el otro cuál sería? Did. My brother. Play. Did my brother. Play. Soccer. Yes, ok, excellent. Ahora vamos a contestarlas. Ok. Did Marta go to the supermarket yesterday? Yes, yes. she did. Yes, 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 she did. ¿Se acuerdan las formas que yo les dije que podían contestar una yes, no question? Yes, no. Yes, no. Or yes. Yes, she did, or? Yes, no, yes, she didn't. She didn't. Yes, no, she didn't. She didn't. No, yes, she did. And no, she didn't, ¿ok? Didn't. Si no, si usted quiere, si es más formalito y dice, no, she did What? not, ¿ok? Es lo mismo. Ok. okay. Did Marta eat fish for dinner? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes she, she did. did. No, no she, she didn't. didn't. Okay. Did we visit our parents last year? Yes. yes. We, yes, we did. We did or no? No, we didn't. With or no? We didn't. We didn't. Okay. Yes. And the other is, did my friends come to my house? Yes. Yes. They did. They. Recuerde que estamos hablando de. Ellos, yes. mis amigos. Entonces es they. Ok. Yes. Or no. They, they didn't. didn't. Ok. Did my, did my brother play soccer yesterday? Yes. Yes, he did. Or no. He didn't. 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 Ok. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta aquí? No. Sin pena, no. Okay, sin pena que, que igual, o sea, no van a decir, ay, mis compañeros ya entendieron y yo no, qué pena, voy a preguntar. No importa. No importa porque estamos aquí para aprender. O sea, y ese es nuestro propósito. Sin que nos dé pena, sin que nos sintamos mal, sin que nos sintamos menos. Porque todos tenemos un proceso de aprendizaje diferente. Okay. No todos somos iguales en cuanto a aprendizaje. A algunos nos cuesta más unas cosas, a otros nos cuesta menos otras cosas y así. Todos somos diferentes y por ende tenemos diferentes formas de aprender. Okay. Así que conmigo no se preocupe. Si usted no entendió, 
levánteme la manita o, 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 o habla y me pregunto, ¿ok? ¿No hay ninguna pregunta? No, no, no. We're fine. No, ok, excelente. Y si le da penita, me escribe, ¿ok? What about, estas son yes, no question. What about WH question? A structure, WH word. WH word. Plus. Plus did. Plus. plus didn't, verb. didn't. No, plus no, no. Subject. 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 Plus question mark. Ah, nos faltaron las, las. Ok, si yo quisiera hacer negativas las oraciones estas, que eso es lo que escuché ahí, lo único que yo tengo que hacer, ¿qué? Si yo quiero hacer negativas estas. Vamos a hacer la negativa. Marta. Marta didn't go to the supermarket yesterday. Ok. Yes. Lo único que va a cambiar acá es, va a ir el auxiliar didn't, que es lo que me de, denota que es algo negativo, y el verbo va a ir en base form. O sea, no vamos a cambiarlo porque recuerde, cuando usted ya tiene un auxiliar, que en este caso es el didn't, ya está en pasado y en negativo. Ya no tiene que agregarle al verbo nada, ¿ok? okay. Vamos a hacer otro, vamos a hacer este. We, we didn't visit our parents. Last year. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos? Okay. ok. Después de haber aclarado eso, vamos a las preguntas. ¿Ok? WH word plus did plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. ¿Ok? Ajá. Hagamos ejercicio, ejemplos. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Excellent. ¿Cumple todo? W is work, es yeah. what, did, did, subject you, verb is do, and complement is, is last weekend. weekend. Excellent. ¿Y cómo contesto? Me está preguntando. The beach. ¿No? Tengo que I went to the beach. I visit to my friend. I went to the beach. With my friends. Excellent. Ajá. Another. Ahí puede ser otra, otra, otra respuesta, ¿ok? Si usted no fue a la playa y si usted nada más estuvo en la casa, hay... I stayed. ¿Se acuerdan de que había uno? I stayed home. Mm, sí. Uh -huh. No sé si de, de la plataforma, de, uh -huh. de la sección 2. Sí, estaba, exacto. ¿Ok? I went to the beach with my friends. I stayed home last weekend. No pude hacer nada, ¿ok? Another example. Where did, where did you go last night? Where did you go oh. last night? Night. Uh -huh. Where did you go? Last night, I, I went, went to the movie. To yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ¿A dónde más? 
pude ir. The church, Miss. ¿Hm? I went to the church. Excellent. I went to the church. Excellent. You see? Another example, hagamos una con who. Who did you go to the um, restaurant? Falta algo ahí. With, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. What did you go to the restaurant with? Uh -huh. I went to my cousin. I went to the restaurant. Recuerda my cousin. Dar la respuesta completa, ¿ok? Uh -huh, uh -huh. My cousin. Excellent, guys. ¿Alguna pregunta? Teacher, ¿será que luego me puede mandar el screenshot de, la, de lo que había antes donde decía how good? Eh, va por lo menos. No, alcancé esta, a copiar todo. Esta, no se preocupe porque esta igual, este, por eso lo trabajo en Word, porque todo lo que trabajamos yo lo guardo y se los voy a enviar. Mañana, ah, okay. mañana espero mandarle las tres clases que hemos tenido. Okay, ah, no. gracias. Es que ahora sí me ha ido mal con el Inter, teacher, lo siento. No, tranquila, yo sé, yo sé, eso nos puede pasar a cualquiera. ¿okay? Un día me puede pasar a mí. Sí, no, no se preocupe, ¿ok? Gracias, teacher. Bueno, para servirle. Ok. Oh, let's see. Les mandé a su, al, 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 al WhatsApp. Les mandé unos. Les mandé unos documentos. Ok. Quiero que abran este. Quiero ver si lo puedo compartir. Listen and spelling. Uh -huh. Ya voy a ver si lo puedo compartir el que quiero que vean. Este. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sí han hecho modalidad de listening, ¿verdad? Yo voy a leer una oración en cada una y ustedes van a definir cuál es la que corresponde, si A, B o C. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Eh, quiero ver si lo voy a leer. Dos veces, pero en el caso de que no la puedo hacer tres, no hay problema, ¿ok? Sí. En un cuadernito pueden anotar number one, A, y así, ¿ok? Pero ustedes tienen que tener el documento o no, o, lo, o se los pongo aquí todo. Yo aquí lo tengo mismo. Ajá, es mejor, es mejor así. Me avisan cuando estén listos. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay, let's start. What did I do last week? Well, my wife and I went to a restaurant and then we saw a movie. Did you and your family have a good weekend? B. Yes, we did. Okay. Ese, háganlo ustedes, okay. Okay? ¿ok? Individual. Repeat the teacher. Ok. What did I do last week? 
Well, my wife and I went to a restaurant and then we saw a movie. Did you and your family have a good weekend? Okay, number two. Si se queda, no se preocupe, que lo voy a leer de nuevo. Oh no, I can't find my pants. I'm short, but I think that maybe I lost it. Oh no, I can't find my pants. I'm not sure, but I think that maybe I lost it. Number three, John finished work at five o'clock and then he came home. Repeat. John finished work at five o'clock and then we came home. Number four, I didn't see you at the meeting yesterday. Where were you? I didn't see you at the meeting yesterday. Where were you? Number five, the Wright brothers flew their first airplane in 1903. That was- No, no miro las respuestas. Hola. Se mira, hasta, se mira hasta la cuatro en las respuestas. No las puede, no las tiene ahí ustedes. Yo por eso no la. Ah, es que no, solo tengo dos, dos que usted mandó, pero no era este. Uno no era este. No tienen este. No. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Yo solo, bueno, yo solo tengo el de Lisa. Ya se el segundo. El segundo, Verónica. Pero igual ya se lo puse. Okay. The Wright Brothers, number five. I repeat it. Okay. The Wright Brothers flew their first airplane in 1903. That was over 100 years ago. Repeat, teacher, please. Okay. The Wright brothers flew their first airplane in 1903. That was over 100 years ago. Number six. First, I made dinner and then I watched an hour of TV. First, I made dinner and then I watched an hour of TV. Number seven. He doesn't look very well. Maybe he should see a doctor. Did he take any medicine? He doesn't look very well. Maybe he should see a doctor. Did he take any medicine? Number eight. You'll never believe what happened to me on the way home from school today. I met my old friend, Charlie. Again, you'll never believe what happened to me on the way home from school today. I met my old friend, Charlie. Number nine. Mr. and Mrs. Smith decided not to buy the new red sport car. They decided to buy something less expensive. Repeat, number nine. Mr. and Mrs. Smith decided not to buy the new red sport car. They decided to buy something less expensive. 10. I was so tired that I 
fell asleep during the movie last night. I repeat it. I was so tired that I fell asleep during the movie last night. 11. First, she talked to the director about the new shipping order. Then she started making the report. First, she talked to the director about the new shipping order. Then she started making the report. 12. I didn't like my old job, so I quit. But I found a new job last week. It's a great job. I didn't like my old job, so I quit. But I found a new job last week. It's a great job. 13. Excuse me, but I think you forgot to bring me a spoon with my soup. Excuse me, but I think you forgot to bring me a spoon with my soup. 14. I think we forgot to buy bread at the supermarket. I, we, I think we forgot to buy bread at the supermarket. Hola, ¿qué tal? Bien. 15. Tiene chocolate para los niños. Recuerda a los niños. Sí, está. We just moved here a few months ago. We just moved here a few months ago. 16. Tommy, did you finish your homework? Tommy, did you finish your homework? ¿Lo completaron o lo repito? Repeat. Yes, teacher. Ok. Déjenme tomar agüita. Pásame el cuaderno naranja. Ok. ¿Ready? Yes. Ok. Number one, what did I do last week? Well, my wife and I went to a restaurant and then we saw a movie. Did you and your family have a good weekend? Number two, oh no, I can't find my pen. I'm not sure, but I think that maybe I lost it. Number three, John finished work at five o'clock and then he came home. Number four, I didn't see you at the meeting yesterday. Where were you? Number five, the Wright brothers flew their first airplane in 1903. That was over 100 years ago. Number six. First, I made dinner and then I watched an hour of TV. Number seven. He doesn't look very well. Maybe he should see a doctor. Did he take any medicine? Number eight, you'll never believe what happened to me on the way home from school today. I met my old friend, Charlie. Nine, Mr. and Mrs. Smith decided not to buy the new red sport car. They decided to buy something less expensive. 10. I was so tired and that I fell asleep during the movie last night. First, first 11. 
First, she talked to the director about the new shipping order. Then she started making the report. 12, I didn't like my old job, so I quit. But I found a new job last week. It's a great job. 13, excuse me, but I think you forgot to bring me a spoon with my soup. 14, I think we forgot to buy bread at the supermarket. 15, we just moved here a few months ago. 16, Tommy, did you finish your homework? Okay. Ahora sí. Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. A. Letter B. Uh -huh. A. A what? Letter B. For Letter B. B. Letter B. What did you do last week? Well. Dice, my wife and I went to a restaurant and then we saw a movie. Did you and your family have a good weekend? Yes, we yes, did. Yes, we, we did. did. Uh -huh. Number two. Oh no, I can't find my pen. I'm not sure, but I think that I maybe I lost it. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You can, Let use, it. It. You can use me. Let us see. Uh -huh. We are talking Let about what? Pen. Pen. Okay. And? They say, yeah, that's, that's okay, you can use mine. So mine. number two is C. C. Number three, John finished work at five o'clock and then he came home. Letter B. Letter B. By taxi or by bus. Letter B, by taxi or by? By bus. By bus. bus. Excellent. Number four, I didn't see you at the meeting yesterday. Where were you? I was sick at home. I was sick at home. So it's letter B. 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 Excellent. Okay, number five. The Wright brothers flew their first airplane in 1903. That was over 100 years ago. When did, when did they do it? Letter no. A. A. A, letter, letter A. A. Letter A, okay? A. Remember. A, A. yes. No puede ser la B porque en la B solo me está hablando de... De él. De él. De uno. A, miss. Igual, uh -huh. ya nos está diciendo cuándo fue. The brothers. Uh -huh. Where. Entonces es letter A. 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 No habla sobre el lugar, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Excellent, ¿ok? First, number six. First, I made dinner and then I watched an hour of TV. Mm -hmm. Letter A, do you like cooking? Cooking. Do you like cooking? Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Number seven. seven. He doesn't look very well. Maybe he should see a doctor. Did he take any medicine? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. No, he didn't. Yes. Porque, um, and yes, he was. No, porque está diciendo no. si tomó el medicina. Entonces, uh -huh. estamos utilizando el did para preguntar. Did. Did he take uh -huh. Entonces, vamos a utilizar siempre. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. In this case, yes. Eight. You'll never believe what happened to me on the way home from school today. I met my old friend Charlie. Where did Letter you see him? Where did you see him? Letter C. Letter C. See him. Letter C. Excellent. Mr. and Mrs. Smith decided not to buy the new red sport card. They decided to buy something less expensive. Uh-huh. 
I think that letter. was a good idea. Letter, letter A. A. Letter A. Letter A. Okay. I think that was a good, a good idea. 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 Okay. Ten. I was so tired that I fell asleep during the movie last night. Letter A. Letter A. Letter B. A. No, I don't know. Yes, it's it's B. Uh -huh. ¿Quién well, da? ¿Quién le dicen ahí? Me. Me. Uno dice no y didn't. Y los otros dicen. I'm not sure. <laughs> Vamos a juntos. <laughs> I was so tired. Estaba muy cansado, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Me dormí durante la película. Uh -huh. Ayer, ¿ok? Y las respuestas son. No, I didn't. Actually, actually, I was afraid. Actually. 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 Yes. Realmente. Little B. Yes. Ok, letter B. 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 Ah, ahora sí, ¿verdad? Ya analizándola, it's a little bit different, right? Ok, 11. First, she talked to the director about the new shipping order. Then she started making the report. Uh -huh. Yes. See, what, what did she do after that? No. Yes. Porque letter A no puede ser. I didn't know he was sick. No. 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 Eh, B. Was she late for the meeting? Letter C. No, right. It's letter C. C. B. What did she do after that? B, that, that. We don't know, right? <laughs> Okay. Twelve. I didn't like my old job, so I quit. But I found a new job last week. A great job. Eso no pasa, verdad? That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Literally. Letter A. 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 So it letter. Letter A. 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 Excuse me, number 13. Excuse me, but I think you forgot to bring me a spoon with my soap. Let it be. Let it be. I'll bring you one right away. I'll bring you one right away. Excellent. 14. I think we forgot to buy bread at the supermarket. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C, right? C. Should we go back and get, and get some? Get some. Okay, 15. We just moved here a few months ago. Do you like living Letter C. Letter C, miss. Letter C. Letter C. Do you like living here? Here. here. And the last one is 16. Tommy, did you finish your homework? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. did. Yes, Better I did. Me. Guys, did you do your homework? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. Quiero ver si lo puedo compartir. Ustedes tienen el otro que es este, son las mismas oraciones, pero es de rellenarlas. Las tienen, ¿verdad? Que no las yes, no puedo compartir. No sé por qué no las puedo compartir. Quiero ver. El que dice what's let's quit. Quiero ver, ahorita les digo. Ajá. Ya va a Quiero ver cómo podemos hacer eso, porque creo, sé, sé que no la han impreso, ¿ok? Pero 
Vamos a ver. Mejor mañana la vamos a hacer esa porque igual no, no la puedo compartir. ¿Ok? Do you like the activity? Yes. 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 Do you like the activity? Yes. 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 How many mistakes did you have? I was two. I had only one. I had two. Had two. Uh -huh. One. Uh -huh. Four. Four. I had two. Three. Excellent. Uh -huh. Excellent, guys. This is a listening. The listening. The toy can toffle. Así son, es una parte de la estructura de ellas, así que ya pueden, ya están practicando, ¿ok? <risa> ok, remember, simple, past, ¿ok? The structure is subject, verb in past, complement, ¿ok? For a yes, no question, I have... The auxiliary deal plus subject plus what? Verb. Plus verb yeah. plus complement. 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 Cuando hago una yes no question, necesito cambiarle algo al verbo. Yes, no question. No, no. ¿verdad? No. No. El auxiliary deal me está. Diciendo que es pasado. pasado. Uh -huh. ¿Okay? ¿Y qué pasa en tercera persona? No cambia el verbo. Nada. O sea, no cambia nada. En pasado no cambia nada. Sigue siendo did is did. Un verbo en did. pasado. ¿Ok? En pasado. Ok. De dijimos, just no question, in past. Did plus subject plus verb plus complement. Plus Question, question mark. mark. Right. ¿Y cómo puedo contestar la yes no question? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ajá. Did. No, did. did. no, did. uh -huh. What about a negative statement? Cuando te quiero hacer una oración en negativo. The structure is subject. Subject. Did and negative. Sería. Subject plus didn't, not, or plus did not, not. Uh -huh, cualquiera, did not or didn't. Uh -huh. Subject plus didn't plus verb, plus, verb. plus complement. 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 Excellent. What about WH question? WH quest, WH oh. word, WH word, plus subject, the, plus verb, subject. plus complement. No, me le me no, todo. No, doble H word, plus D, plus subject, plus subject, en vez de ver, complement, plus complement, plus question mark, question. question mark. ¿Cómo yo contesto? Contesto de una forma completa, ¿ok? Subject, plus verb in, past, plus complement, según lo que me han preguntado. ¿okay? Tenemos verbos regulares e irregulares. Ok, los irregulares son aquellos que son totalmente diferentes. Por ejemplo, go en went. went. Okay. Son nada que ver. Y los regulares es cuando nada más agrego e de. Yes. O algunas veces es solo de. Ok. Any questions so far? No. No. No, no, no. Nobody? No. Okay. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoy the class. Okay. God bless you and take care. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.